and we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to crop an image. So we've got an original image here, I'll copy that. So I simply right click on the layer and duplicate the layer. And this is the crop tool up here. If you've got a different tool selected, click on it. If it's already selected and you click on it, it's going to be highlighted in blue. There are only a couple of parameters here to check. You can drag this crop box on your layer. So you can see that my copy layer is active. And when you hover around these corners, you can resize it. So the cursor changes depending on where you've got it. When you've got it in the center, you can move the crop box around. In the corners, you can resize it. And if you've got your cursor outside of the crop box, you will drag any one. Let us check the first function here. Current layers only. So right now, if I have it unchecked, you can see that also the original layer is affected by this crop. Let me press Ctrl Z. Now I check the box, create a crop box, press Enter. And if I make the original visible, you can see that it's not affected. For the most part, you want to have that checked when you play with copies, like I did here. You can also delete the pixels, just have explanatory. You can allow growing. Right now, we can only drag a crop box inside of the size of the original layer or the layer that we are cropping on right now. And if we check the box, we can go even outside of it. You can start your crop box outside whenever you want. Uncheck it, go to the outside drag and you can see it will automatically be placed only inside of the original layer size. You can also expand from center. Right now I expand where I first click with the cursor and it will be a corner. And right now if I click and drag, the first position will be set to the center of the crop box. You can also use specific aspect ratios. For example, let me choose a fixed width. And you can see I only can adjust the height now and the width is fixed. Let me uncheck that. You can also directly type in values for the position and for the size. So you can adjust the size of the crop box and where it is put on the layer. And the last one that should be interesting is this drop down menu. Right now it's set to no guides or we can add these guides, for example, a rule of thirds to our crop box. And this is how you can use this crop tool. When you switch to a different tool, let me switch right here to the move tool, you can see that the crop is automatically applied. So it's like pressing enter and you've got a crop. When you've made a mistake, always use Ctrl Z to undo the last step. And this is everything that you need to know for the basics of cropping in GIMP. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.